But as you're making the left turn, that's one place that you don't have to get right next to the apex because you're trying to get out here your turn point, right? Well, if you're out here and you turn too close to here, your angle is pointing to the woods. It means you've got to change the direction a few more degrees. So just go ahead, and, if you can, and stay full throttle, stay a lot of speed, stay away from the apex and still carry that speed through there. And now you can be more parallel, less degrees, which takes less time. You can get through the next one quicker. But if you need to, if your car's that fast and you got to come inside, again, there's always a trade-off. We're going to gain some here, lose some here. Which one's more important in my lap time? Okay, so keep an eye on that. Think about your total setup is trying to get out to the outside and get that. Okay, uh, then you head towards that building out there. Kind of use that as a reference as to where am I going. And sometimes when there's not a lot of good reference points, that's a good general area to go to, uh, depending on your angle here, where you're at. But when you get out to the actual turning point, sometimes you have to look for that particular weekend, the black marks on the ground. If somebody left a big black mark on the tire or dropped something or, or something, you can use that as a reference for that weekend. But when you come back, the next time you come back here, it may not be there. So you have to find something new. And then make your adjustments off of that. Um, okay, and then just kind of let, let the car momentum roll through there. And that's a whole deal where you're trying to get the car the car weight to the right as you're approaching it, and you want to keep it there. You don't want to have to turn the car and get the weight reestablished on the, on the right side of the car. If you go straight and brake straight, now the weight's even. When you turn, the first thing that has to happen is the weight has to go to the outside again. And that takes time. And if you do the turn too quickly, the, road, uh, the weight transfers from the outside tires too quickly and overworks that tire, the car starts to slide out. If you don't turn enough, now the car is going to go half a turn, and when the G-loads build, and the corning forces build, then it's going to take a second set, a double whip, and that's what makes it hard to get through. So if you'll take and keep your car loaded to the outside, and just make it one round turn through there, and don't expect the car to make a sharp turn. Remember, it takes time to do that. So just put a light brake on, and give it time to turn. You're cornering, so you're still using the car 100%. But instead of making it stop, turn and go, and have that weight transfer reestablish itself, just go ahead and make a light break a long time and let it roll through the corner, keep your momentum up, and then squeeze the gas the way out. And obviously, you have a turbo car, you have to put the power down way earlier than you want to to get the boost up to come out when you want to, not too early, not too late. And then don't hit the jogger up there.